The travel industry is angry that the federal government is holding a consultation process to cap the number of people who can attend Anzac centenary services in Gallipoli. They're planning on holding a rival ceremony so that customers already booked for 2015 don't miss out. So popular has the Gallipoli service become, the government recently announced a ballot for the centenary commemorations. Engineers say Anzac Cove can't cope with more than 10,000 people, so 8,000 Australians and 2,000 New Zealanders will be allowed to attend. Tour operators are furious and insist it can take double. Why are we telling Australians in this day and age who can and who cannot go to Turkey to attend a dawn service? Paul Murphy has sold 1,800 tickets to his tour and paid $1 million towards a chartered ship. The government says the travel industry was given ample notice. Since 2010, Department of Veteran Affairs has been advising tour operators that they should not, in good conscience, advertise tours to Gallipoli that guarantee access to the dawn service. We have never guaranteed people that they'll be at North Beach. Never. The government believes a ballot will mean Anzac services remain solemn and dignified. A spokesman for the minister said some tour operators have already sold up to 5,000 trips each and are effectively asking for those customers to be given priority over the descendants of veterans. Mr Murphy says almost half his customers have Anzac links. So surely people in, in the 5,000 category have booked and paid have some rights. He and other tour operators are planning on boycotting the official service by organising their own on a privately owned beach. I think that's totally uh, inappropriate. The, the reason they would be doing it obviously because they see it as a commercial advantage in doing that. The government will reveal who will be given priority to go in 2015 early next year. Marion Ives, World News Australia.